but it's sad. Um, it really is. As a pagan, where do you get your values from? Um, I get my values from just basically walking the walk, man. Um, mm-hmm. so I, I believe, I believe in the unnamed gods of the universe. I believe that they're with me and that they counsel me, which they do. And, uh, you know, they tell me, uh, what needs to happen, what doesn't need to happen. And by God, it comes to pass. So, I mean, Hey, you know, I'm batting a thousand. Are you able to tell when you're given bad information? Oh God. Yes. You don't think I'm you don't think I'm approached by demons and evil spirits and and have thoughts put in my head without my consent of course all the time. When you when you decide that you're going to fight against evil, you got to expect that. You got to expect that that it's going to come your way and it does. What guide do you use to compare bad ideas against? Well, in paganism in paganism you you do have some bad elements that I call left-hand path. Uh, left-hand path pagans are the type of pagans that, well, they, they're one of these people that does not believe in any specific black and white reference at all. Everything is a shade of gray to them. Many of them, sadly, uh, believe that they can invoke demons and evil spirits and that they can get these entities to do their will. For me, I'm not one of those. I, I'm, I'm what you would call a white lighter. I believe in, in the light. I believe in, in truth. I fight against evil. That's what I do. And uh, you know, a lot of people don't understand that there's, that there's people like me that exist. There's good guys out there, too. As and religious I, seekers, we're typically people who say that what's good for us is good for others. How do you think a nation, a country, could progress ethically if they were all pagans? Well, they would. Um, if they they would. I mean, as long as you as long as you uh, you know. Well, let me give you an example. Okay, there's the Emerald Tablets of Thoth. Some people say they're legit. Some don't. But the point is, is that in those in those writings, uh, Thoth clearly says, avoid evil, avoid darkness, avoid anything that has to do with sacrifices or blood, avoid anything that has dark arts, and um, those are good words, man. Those are good words. How does it classify evil? And how does it classify darkness? Well, he went to the underworld. He went to the underworld and confronted the god of the underworld. No, but I mean on this planet, as a proponent of the Bible, I think the Bible helps a society come to grips or have some sort of consensus on what they consider evil. So right. the citizens of that society will walk around saying, we don't believe in murder, ultimately, right. because right. we believe that God says it is wrong to murder. I mean, the Torah doesn't right. just say, don't do evil, because the question is, what is evil? But the Torah tells you what specifically to stay away from. And you don't think, Rabbi, that someone could have an object, uh, could find that objective truth with, without, without uh, I guess you're saying, without Hashem? If they could, they haven't on a grand scale. I wish there was. I wish there was a more ethical system that outdoes the Bible or outdid the Bible historically to give me an option to expand my belief or give me another path to do you, follow. Do you, do you mean that, Rabbi? Absolutely. I am not married to Judaism. I will convert to any other belief system that makes me a better person. However, Uh we have to take history into account. uh, Dude, uh, dude, I'm an amateur cryptozoologist. I'm an amateur historian. Believe me, I take history into account. (laughs) That's why you notice I'm not a Muslim today. Why? You notice that? Yeah, there's a reason for that. The biggest argument I've heard against this is ancient Greek philosophy, the philosophy of Aristotle and Plato, Aristotle's Book of Virtues. Now, there hasn't been a society that's progressed ethically like biblically-based societies. Why hasn't there been a society built off Greek values and ethics that in some way risk themselves to fight for Vietnamese or South Koreans? Mm. It seems that till there's another system that can some way recreate the Bible's successes there really isn't a contender you understand what do you what do you need you tell me what you need what do you need a system that has a track record of making societies work ethically well i could you know if 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 islam hadn't come along and slaughtered all the pagan civilizations i could probably at least point you to one or two pagan systems that did work Unfortunately, Islam came along and slaughtered them all. So there's not really a whole lot I can show you. I'm but, a big uh, fan of Lord of the Rings. Hey, Lord of the Rings, that's a good yeah, But again, we don't know about them. Like right. you said, they may have been lost. But I think 
for someone to truly claim to be an authentic seeker of light, he has to be willing to drop his current belief system and adopt one that that's better. better. Right. Yeah. And that's exactly what I've done. I, I That's exactly what I've done. Believe me, dude, I've made the rounds. I've, I've been in Buddhism, Confucianism, uh, Christian. I was even a Satanist for a while, believe it or not. But you haven't been a Jew. And I, I haven't been a Jew. Because those 600 <laughs> laws, man, you know, those 600 laws, yeah, no, I can't do it. Those are all the laws, but a lot of those laws don't. That isn't all of them? No, no, no. There's I mean, probably over a thousand, actually. There's really only mean, around 250 laws that you really need to worry about, right? To men. I get you. Some of those laws only apply to women. Some of those laws only apply to priests. Some of those laws only apply in the land of Israel. Mm -hmm. I think it was the Chafetz Chaim who broke it down. I think he said there's around 250 laws that apply to men nowadays, males. Right. And I think it's a good amount. It's not just laws. It's commandments that appear in the five books of Moses. So you well, can maybe read through it. Let me let me ask you this, Rabbi. What if what if I'm a trailblazer? What if what if the gods have pulled me out of the muck in order to be a trailblazer and to start something new? Because sometimes I get that feeling. Sometimes I get that feeling. I really do. You know, because I mean, let's let's look at what I was. Let's go back to what I was. I was 115 pounds soaking wet with rocks in my pockets. I was sick all the time. I, you know, I, I could not fight my way out of a wet paper bag. I was not spiritual in any way. And, you know, the gods are like, you're it. You're the one we want. And I'm like, yeah, what? What? <laughs> you know, uh, and now look at me now. You kind know, of sounds totally like the different. story of King David with the prophet. It's like, where's your other well, son? Well, exactly. You well, know, that's what that, you mean, the scrawny one with the sheep? Yeah, get the him out of here. The scrawny one with the sheep, yeah. You know, and, and you go th – and you, when you – that's what that was what really uh, blew my mind is is they showed me. They took me to a library and said, here, grab these books and look at them. And I look at them. I look at all throughout history where the gods would see the, the weakest – Sick, sickliest person they could find and say, yep, that's the guy we want right there. And and they've done this all throughout history, every single time, all throughout history. And I'm like, that's me. And they're like, yeah, man, you're the one, dude. You're it. And it's funny, too, because the name Von Helton means from a bright sound in German. Hell being sound. Hell is not the the place in German. Hell is 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 a is 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 a, is a sound. Oh, okay, or, a, a bright uh, hell is bright and and tone is is a noise. Okay, so it's a bright noise. Well, what what is a bright noise? That's a herald. That's somebody that is heralding the coming of a thing. All right, that's what a bright sound is. It's a herald. Okay, so I'm heralding the coming of the true gods of the universe that really do care about us that doesn't put a bunch of rules and regulations on us that doesn't consider us garbage that doesn't consider us laden with sin that doesn't consider us evil you know because i mean you, you open up the bible what do you see in the bible oh the heart of man is desperately wicked who can know it you know oh well gee thanks guys you know uh you know and and, and the god the true gods of the universe are like man you ain't evil you ain't garbage you're not sin laden you're not fallen you're not evil we care about you. We created you. We do care about you, and we want you to see you prosper. And we're gonna we're gonna take this. We're gonna take America, and we're gonna expose all the evil in America, and then we're gonna destroy it. And everybody's gonna know. Everybody's gonna see it. It's all gonna be laid bare. And what are we seeing in the news today? Epstein's been exposed. All of this spirit cooking and and political ambrosia and all this sick twisted shit that the politicians have been doing for centuries behind our backs. It's all being exposed. It's all being laid bare. And I'm he like, didn't tell himself. <laughs> no, oh, of course not. Of course he didn't. All right, I mean, guys, anybody, I'm heading out. I'm heading out. Uh, all right, thank you for thank you for chatting with us, Rabbi. Have a good okay, day. Take thank you, easy, Rabbi. I, I really Rabbi appreciate will. it, man. I do. I, I come back again because right. I appreciate it. Really Torahjudaism.com. Check it out.